morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon here from the Girls X Battle 2 video for you guys. Today we're doing a Count Overlook video, and it's going to be on this person's name I cannot say worth whatsoever, and I don't want to butcher it, so I'm just going to say Ally. Sorry, but yeah, this one's difficult for me, so I'm just going to say Ally. Thank you for sharing your account with us. We're going to cover it, talk about some stuff on it. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, and leave a comment down below and show Ally some love for sharing their account with us. Also, don't forget that the new girl comes out this Thursday. I will probably be streaming on Saturday. We'll see what happens. But I will post information on that. We will be pulling for her and building her and seeing how she does. I'm not really overly excited about how she's going to perform, per se. But we shall see. You never know. Things could change. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get into this. Let's do this. Fix my headrest. Um, so, questions, questions, questions. They want tips on approving for PvP, if possible, also PvE. Uh, they said free people to look at every nook and cranny of their account. Any tips on how to spend money wisely on this game? Thank you so much for your time. Okay, so let's just uh, look at PvP real quick. What do we run with? Let's just go look at JV. Let's look at your defense. Let's see here. Okay. Um, you probably want to use Sydney. Uh, she's actually really good. You could probably drop your Diana and use the Sydney. If he would help heal right now, also boost damage. Um, let's see here. Is it Ami can help? You can either feed the you can either feed your energy into Sydney. I'm sorry, Sydney into Izanami. So that Izanami has an active each round, so you have a chance of not of of, of Izanami shields killing yourself and you not taking damage that way. Uh, you can put the Monica on the Mia instead of Angelica to help boost the Mia's damage. I uh, I know that she's only LB3, so it makes sense. Angelica, not really. I mean, she's helpful, don't get me wrong, but I just don't see in this setup how it's as useful with her. But just keep using her. She has an LB5. If, she, if Angelica is not really doing anything and not performing really well. You can try and switch out Von Helsing for that and see which one does better. But those are still kind of like iffy picks now, especially if they run out of Pate. Von Helsing will just target that usually. And Angelica usually just gets locked out from Geishas, other things, and so forth. So, so on and so forth. So, yeah. Uh, not bad. Could be. What are, we, what are we rocking with over here? People with... So we only have to deal with one person that's really high. That's fine. You're sure doing fine. It looks good. Um, as far as PvE wise goes, don't have a Linky to at least nine star or ten star. You don't have a Phyrexy to at least nine star or ten star. You have one Sivney. You probably go with two at that point. The Estel's fine. Uh, you're probably only going to use her in Sky Island. She also helps with practical works. Uh, you can use your Angelica for that for your damage. You're good on that. But Estel at some point having one at LB five. Oh, excuse me. Uh, can help too. But that's probably going further down the road. You can leave Estel at 10 star for now. But further down the road, as you play more and you get more stuff, she's going to be one to at least have one of in your back pocket for PvE. But you're definitely going to need an extra 70 to LB5. That one to LB5. Linky to at least 10 star. And Frexy at least 10 star or 9 star. One of the two. Cassie, eh, not as useful right now. So you can probably hold off on that for now. Building her to 10 star or anything. So not as important. Um... As far as people might asking about Viera or Psychic, for instance, they're like uh, used in like certain situations. So like Psychic nowadays, we might use them with an Estel team in Sky Island to help remove armor and stuff like that and boost damage a little bit. Viera we're mostly using in Sanctuary for Diana pushing high damage there. Uh, you might be able to use Viera as well in Sky Island to help out with damage or practical works, but there's better choices like Frexy, Linky, and Symphony for those areas. Uh, case of point reminder, ladies and gentlemen, Please do your monthly events. Uh, Ally has not done at all practical works, which is extremely important. I know it just 25 days for you, which is fine. But make sure you do this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, everything you got here as much as possible. Now, as far as your question on what to buy in the game. Oh, that's a big one. Wow, I've been yawning all day. It's just when I talk a lot. Sorry, yawning. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um, monthly pass which is the $15 one for getting gems every day. That's a good one to do for, for spending, trying to spend on the game. And Deluxe Pass. As long as you're finishing everything here in the monthly event, getting the Deluxe Pass is really good. You get a good amount of gems for just $10. A 
Bruins, Elementium, stuff like that. Those are two really good to buy. Now, the other things that you can get also in the game are like the Lucky Bonus, which is correlates with slots, or the Antique Aid one that comes around. Uh, Red Riding Hood Gift used to be a lot better, ladies and gentlemen. Now they've kind of just split it up into different tiers within it, and it's very disappointing to me, and I don't recommend it as much as other ones would be. If it was the old school Red Riding Hood's Gift, yeah, it was really good. It was amazing. One of the best deals we've had ever, period. Now I just kind of just not really... Uh, Good as it was, I should say. But definitely, if you're looking to lightly spend on the game, get your deluxe pass, get your monthly pass, get lucky bonus when it comes around. That's really good too. You could also get uh, antique aid whenever it comes around. I wish they would do it every month. Honestly, that would really help out people getting antiques from the uh, antique store, the pay-to-win one where we have the limited exchange or whatever it comes around. That would help out a lot with that. Unfortunately, they don't do that, so I don't know why. But as far as anything else to get in the game. Uh, pick it by week by week basis because sometimes some weeks they have really good deals sometimes they don't the only other exception to that would be like the 49, 499 deals that are uh, 888 gems in them those are really good to get usually every week if you don't have any good deals and you want to spend something if not you can just save your money and wait for an actual good deal that rolls around and just snatch those up and save your money for those that's a good idea as well so that being said if you guys are slightly spending on the game just wait for the really good deals you're not in a rush anyways you're just slightly spending so just play it safe like that. As far as your servants go, uh, you could have left Kraken at 120. I kind of don't like people that separate. They're like, separate 170, 130, 130. You can just like leave 120, 120 and focus on 1 to 180. And then from there, go to 180 as well. You're not really focusing in UL. So you don't need five pets to 180 right now. So you're better off just focusing on one pet all the way up. For your JV and then having the other ones for varsity eventually growing them. As far as right now, if you're if you're focusing on PV PvP wise right now too, and PV Hunter seems to be the really good servant for both. Obviously, PV is the best. So you, you could probably just go ahead and switch everything over to your hunter. I know it's gonna cost a lot of um gold, but uh you have your alt core into the uh deer here. It's fine, it works for good for beginners and stuff like that. People, but at this point, Hunter's probably a good bet to just go ahead and put your all core into it and putting it up at this point. So go ahead and do that if you want to, ladies and gentlemen. Ally, that's up to you if you want to switch it or not. Um, don't forget to do entrance exam, ladies and gentlemen. It's free. Also, Sigma's coming out, so we'll talk about her later on in the week. But um, this is free rewards. I don't want people don't understand why people wouldn't do this. Maybe they'll just get bored of it. But you don't have to try at it. You just have to get to 60%, 40%, 20%, and then get some free caps. Free capsules. Also, I should have said that a good deal to buy every single time is admission prep, which, let's be real, 82 right there for 20 bucks. Pretty good. Considering, like, what? 90 or 80 something for $70 is what you get for capsules. Plus, you get extra stuff with it, but... The point is, is that just for capsules alone with a, some coupons and stuff, that's a pretty good deal. I'll tell you the truth. Um, as long as you can finish admission prep. Oh, I mean, I can't think right now. I just lost my train of thought. Entrance exam. Jesus, why did I forget about that? Entrance exam, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you look for. Uh, everything else on your account looks good, though. You are saving capsules. Great, I haven't seen that in an account in a while. You're saving on enrolls too, which is great as well. I like that. You're waiting for a good girl to come out. Uh, you save them for, I don't know what we're going to get for anniversary, but you're doing a great job on there. House exams are doing a really good job too. Just remember to do it. You haven't done it yet today, so don't forget that. Um, test, don't forget, to, ladies and gentlemen, to do old campus every single time. I know I'm lazy on my alt accounts, but on my main account, I make sure I do it every single time because, yes, elite skills matter, believe it or not. They, they matter, unless you just don't care that much. But they do. Uh, the Shrine just came out, so we'll have to go over that. And Patrol, I did not look at this. What do we got going here? Uh, you did not finish it yet? 65. Good news is you do have a Mia. You should be able to finish it with that Mia, ladies and gentlemen. Mia is really, really good at Patrol. Some people have confirmed they finished it with an LB3, believe it or not. So... Ally, you should be able to finish this at some point with that Mia. So 
keep pushing that with her and uh probably gonna put a damage reduction anti gun if we give it eternal dawn throw it on that mia give her as much hp as possible and just see what happens on that i don't know exactly the exact build that person said that they'd finished it with lb3 but it was confirmed that someone did do it with lb3 though so it is possible um before that it was just lb4 but someone did confirm that so you can finish that off whenever you get a chance and uh yeah everything else is looking pretty good let's just look at your labs real quick Boop, boop, boop. You haven't put anything into the other ones. So if you really care about damage and PvE and PvP, Mage and Ranger is going to be the way to go for uh, damage and stuff for PvE. And then, of course, if you want to... When you're focusing more on PvP, you can put, like, your damage reduction in for your priests. And stuff, like, keep them alive. Because they don't do that much damage, but they do help out in other ways. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you guys today. Not a bad account, Ally. Um little bit of things you could tweak here and there and work on um slowly but surely but it's not bad it's pretty good overall which i'm really impressed especially the point of you saving stuff i've seen so many accounts nowadays that where they just use their capsules every event like three or four hundred of them or five hundred of them and they don't know why they don't get anywhere and you are slowly doing it it's not bad you have some decent girls and you're saving your capsules and your enrolls so if you keep progressing in this way at least remember to do your Admission prep, if you were to spend lightly on that, that can help you drastically getting capsules for anniversary too, but keep doing things. Entrance exam is a great way to getting free stuff to help out getting stuff. I know that's a conundrum saying that, but doing it. Small side events that give you resources add up over time. So do them. Don't be like, oh, this is just boring. I, uh, I don't like doing this every single time. It is repetitive, but it is an idle game, so you gotta have to do what you wanna do. I think it's boring sometimes, but I do it. I don't have to spend as much. I don't want to spend as much anymore. But that's a different story. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as always, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.